There's lots of cooking, baking, baking here in Nana Jenny's kitchen. Hi, I'm Nana Jenny of Bunch of Kids. Welcome to my kitchen. And here come my special helpers. Hi, I'm Michaela. Hi, I'm Amelia. And here comes Zeke. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some special cooking today. What are we making, Nana Jenny? Well, we're going to make a sort of version of chocolate crackles. You know how you have them at parties? Mm -hmm. But this is a healthy version. Granddad said, ha, who wants a healthy version? But some people like to have a little bit less sugar in their diet. So instead of the icing sugar, we use maple syrup. And instead of the kofa, we use coconut oil. Just that little bit healthier. So Zeke, would you like to measure out the rice bubbles? Yes, please. Okay, here they are. You need to put three cups into this bowl. Can you do that? Yes. And girls, we're going to melt the ingredients that are going to stick it together. So Michaela, I'm going to give you two jobs. First, with this third of cup, you need to fill it up with cocoa and put it in the pot and then the coconut oil. Can you do that for me? And Amelia, you're going to put, give us half a cup of coconut. Well, you can do it that way, will that work? Yep. See? No, no, three. See, There we go. Good. And can you do three tablespoons of syrup? So you fill that up and then tip it in three times. So that was three tablespoons of maple syrup. That's what's going to make it sweet and delicious. Thanks, Amelia. Now I'm going to warm this up on the stove so that the coconut oil melts. So when you put all the ingredients into the pot, turn the gas on and stir and stir until it all comes together and the coconut oil melts. So then you pour it into the rice bubbles. And you get one of your helpers to stir it for you. If you haven't got a helper, you'll have to do it yourself. There you go, Michaela. So, when it's all mixed together, it's time to put it into the patty pans. I found these cute little cups, but you can just use a normal paper patty pan if that's what you have. So we're all going to help to fill up the cups. Now, because this is our Christmas episode, we're going to add some decorations to make the chocolate crackles a little more special for this time of year. So I thought we could add some toasted coconut. That looks amazing. Well, it reminds me of the very first Christmas. What happened on the very first Christmas? Oh, 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 Jesus was born. Right, and where did he sleep? Did he have a cot with sheets and blankets? No. Where did he sleep? In the hay. In the hay, right, in the manger, the animal speed box, and they put hay in to make it soft for him. Do you think that looks a little bit like hay? Yeah. Maybe. So we're going to add some shredded coconut and it's been toasted to look like hay. How do you toast the coconut? <laughs> Good question. You can do it two ways. You can put it on a tray in the oven. You have to watch it because it browns pretty fast. Or you can do it in a fry pan on top of the stove and stir it around until you see that golden browny colour come. So sprinkle a little bit on top of your chocolate crackle. And of course we need baby Jesus. So here's a jelly baby you to put on top. There we go, so there's a chocolate crackle, a sort of a Christmas version. The other thing I thought was, if you wanted to put a different sort of decoration, we could make little Christmas trees to stick in the top. So I just cut two little Christmas shapes out of paper, and if we use a glue stick, we can Put them onto yeah, a toothpick. Stick it together. And 
then you could stick it into your chocolate crackle to make a Christmas tree version. So there you go. How do they look? They look fantastic. 